I'm standing here at the Kong Farm in Provo, which looks much different than it did before Hurricane Ike came along and caused severe damage. Chuck Hesse, the owner of the Kong Farm, tells us more. And what this did is it, it blew away buildings that had been here for 25 years. It destroyed some of the tourist shop. And it set us back probably six or eight months in terms of animal growth. And if you look behind me, you'll see a number of the buildings where we kept the smaller animals. All of those buildings have to be rebuilt and are in the process of being rebuilt now. From talking to others who have lived in Turks and Caicos for many years, Mr. Hesse believes he now knows why his shores were hit with the storm surge brought on by Hurricane Hannah. It was this very surge that caused the damage to his conch farm. And I was told about it by old timers. They said that the winds, if they came from the south, would pile up water on the backside of Middle North and East Caicos. And then when the winds shifted, as they did with Hannah to the north, they blew all that water out and it had to go somewhere. And a lot of it chose to go through the Leeward Channel. WIV asked him about the conch farm that he is building in Grand Turk as well, called Conch World. More than just a farm, it will have educational entertainment and a restaurant as well. Despite this hardship, Hesse states that the conch farm is damaged, not ruined, and the people of the TCI will continue to get their conch. For WIV4 News, I'm Allison Capron.